Hey, CJ here. Just wanted to do a uh, analysis of Adam Scott Swing, the uh, Barclays champion. Uh, in remarkable fashion, you know, he basically uh, held strong there at the end while the others sort of faulted. And I just wanted to kind of take a few things that you could see with Adam Swing. Um, you know, and this is, again, a little bit more for the average person. What I want you just to understand here now, when I'm looking at Adam's swing, this is uh, this is when he was working with Butch. So, you know, you can see he's back a little bit on it here. But, uh, and again, what we want is that red line, that original red line to be right off your left ear. If you record your swing and you look at it from face on, a couple things that you want to see here. Um, for the most part, you want to see equal amounts of pocket. So I'm seeing just a little bit more of his left pocket. Looks like he's trying to hit it up in the air. You can see that that line going up from the ball, that should be off your left ear. But having said that, obviously I love Adam Scott's swing. I think he has a beautiful swing. But these are just certain things that we can look at. If you're looking at his grip, let's just kind of zoom up on that. You can see it's a little fuzzy here, but you can tell that he's wearing a Titleist glove. That's something usually you can see, you know, a couple knuckles when you're viewing down without moving your head. You can see that knuckle and that knuckle um, right there. That's just great things you're looking for. Definitely what I like, though, is how from the belt buckle to the shirt buttons, his spine is tilted slightly to the right. Um, if we were nitpicking this here, we would shift his lower body just slightly more left. But overall, a very, very good setup. And that's something that, as an amateur, you know, if you can get your setup correct, so many good things are going to happen, um, you know, throughout the swing. If you set up improperly, it's going to be very difficult. So, you know, and it really takes no athletic skill. It just takes the wherewithal or the knowledge to really get your swing set up or your posture, I guess, set up correctly couple things I want you to notice with Adam here. Now, he's going to be able to do this more than the average golfer. You can see how simple his swing looks. His lower body has very little motion. If you are flexible, that's something you want to copy. If you are an older gentleman, you're going to have to let your right hip turn back a little bit more, and you're going to have to have that left knee point in just slightly more. But the sequence of his swing is great here. The club is moving first. That's pulling the left hip across. And you can see here, his left knee is still moving slightly. It's what we call in sync, where his lower body is moving and his club barely moves maybe one camera frame without uh, the club moving. So the club and the lower body are in sync. Now, as we go back here, some things I want you to, to point out to you that you can easily add in your swing. As Adam is working back, the club sort of travels low to the ground. One thing that Bobby Wilson does is in a drill, he puts a T back here, and this is a way that he creates width for power. If you see that, Adam Scott's club is traveling somewhat low. It's creating width. But notice still, even though Adam has that width in his right arm, he is still creating that letter L here at halfway back. This is the important, this is sort of a foundation fundamental of the uh, Perfect Connection golf swing. So that is something you are definitely looking for. The club at that point, when your wrists are hinged, they are just, the club is in balance. And that's really where you can swing it with less effort. That's where you can swing it faster and get your power. As Adam continues to wind, and another thing here, you can just see that his arms are about eh, halfway, maybe three quarters of the way, and his shoulder turn is not done. So almost, if you will, it's three quarters of the way with his shoulders, three quarters of the way with his arms. As he winds here to the top, you can see the, the great amount of width. And that really, I always tell my students, I want to be able to throw a football between your head and your hands. His left arm is comfortably straight. It's not locked, 
but the main issue what you're really looking at is he's creating that L and creating that width with a stable lower body from here you know you can see that Adam's gonna start to lean a little bit lean with his lower body that is creating again a little bit more lag the right elbow is below his left elbow at this point that tells me the club is coming more from the inside or approaching it on the proper plane lower body has just shifted and now it starts to unwind and he's got nice lag there right elbow in front of right hip that's actually a swing thought I've used in my swing and I was playing really well just trying to get the right elbow in front of right hip and obviously hands ahead of the ball with nice lag great position there and from here he just simply unwinds and you can see that he has recreated that for the most part it doesn't have to be perfect but he has recreated that letter L which tells me that he is releasing the club um, and that is one way to take pressure off your body and one way to hit the ball farther and obviously more accurate so again Adam Scott great swing congratulations he he held tight you know held strong there at the end you know by his own admission he wasn't playing well that week um, hung in there and then found something played I think nine under or something like that on the weekend uh, just brilliant golf so definitely has taken his year obviously from winning the Masters and winning this week you know he played well in all the majors definitely brings him to the contention for player of the year so as an amateur golfer though what you're looking for first setup you want a nice um, athletic setup you can see that again his legs they form a nice triangle they're not excessively wide they're not excessively narrow again if we were nitpicking this this might have been a year ago he might be a little bit on his right side but get your get V1 get your V1 on your phone V1 golf app cost you like five bucks record your swing and really start to nail your fundamentals again your fundamentals being grip posture ball position and alignment as he swings back he's creating width he has formed that letter L and he's got that three-quarter width position that is a perfect position right there in golf I would love everyone to be able to copy that we could go in and go on and talk about uh, Adam Scott you know his plane lines but at this point if you can just create that let's keep it simple and go from there the CJ let me know if you have any questions just get on the blog and I would be glad to help you out with your golf swing see you guys later